Hi, hi, hi everybody. Hi guys. Hi everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I still have a YouTube channel, folks. <laughs> it's hard to believe that I'm still here on this YouTube channel. Uh, people say, are you still on that YouTube channel thing? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, since 2012. Can you believe this? Since 2012. <laughs> I should be gone in the past, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere, as the old saying goes. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless, unless something really drastic happens. <laughs> so there you go, folks. What you hear in the background is just YouTubers just uh, disputing the, their own uh, ways. Uh, you know, the mentality that we have today is not uh, the uh, uninformed. They call the un uninformed people um, and unemployed. Uh, people should go get jobs. I mean, it pays your bills, pays your uh, your meals. It pays for everything, you know. Money got to come in, you know. Um, uh, uh, big investors would come to you right away. Big investors. Imagine that. Your big investors come to you and say, hey, we want to put a, lo a lot of money down for you. Ma imagine big investors. Imagine that. Just imagine that for once. Yeah. I want to invest in you. But you got to be, you got to be smarter to be an investor. Yeah. We want to invest in you. And, and support you about it. Yeah. And uh, what you hear in the background, folks, not to be uh, laugh about it or tease about it or, you know, cause any harm to these people. Uh, I'm just going to say that these are just, uh, just uh, uh, Southern folks. These are Southern folks on their platforms. I'm not going to give night or day about their YouTube channels. Um, they just do what they want to do. You can hear them in the background. Get, I'm going to give you a little sample of what they said. Uh and by the way, by the way, these are people with live stream videos. They're not like pre-recorded videos. Uh, they don't th put up a video and then all of a sudden it stays there, kind of thing. Uh, it, it's there for eternity. Well, it's not really there for eternity. With users these days, you can uh, delete the videos. You can always delete the videos, and uh, and nobody has to hear about you. Uh, so <laughs> there is such thing as a delete button. Thank God for delete buttons, right? Uh, you can delete the video and it'll be long gone. Long gone. It won't be shown anywhere on any platform. And uh, thank God for delete <laughs> buttons. And we wouldn't have YouTube videos out there. Um, and I'm just saying, just saying, as people like to say. Uh, yeah, uh, so there's delete buttons. You can always delete your videos out there. Uh, depends on the user. Remember that. It only depends on the user if they want to delete these videos, delete these platforms. Um, on their own risk, their own risk, as they like to say, with their own risk. Uh, a little caution flag, you know. It's like, um, you know, the old saying goes: uh, when it comes when it comes to YouTubers, they like to use the platform for many reasons, for good, uh, for good or for bad. Um, uh, mostly, uh, most of the times, uh, women are on here, and that's great. That's great, and all. I really appreciate that immensely. But there comes a time when when there's too many people on YouTube and too overcrowded. The old saying goes, it's overcrowded when there's YouTube videos out there. Um, I can mention a whole tons of names out there for YouTubers. These are just uh, young folks, young women out there creating their YouTube channel and creating that viewership and subscriber base. But uh, sooner or later, they'll have to get used to not having YouTube channels because they got to pay the bills. Money's got to come in. Uh, these are, like, I, I've been doing videos for a long time, and it doesn't pay the bills. Uh, it's just, I, I basically, guess, uh, guess what? I'm doing this for free. I'm doing this for free. Not from money income from my videos. Uh, so, it's not like i got a super chat going on, uh, like other YouTubers like to tend to do. Um, I don't got a super chat. I don't have donations. I don't have any of that nonsense. Uh... When I do videos, I, I do it a, a bun of, of love, um, basically my self-love. Uh, the word uh, that a lot of people forget is the self-love thing. And uh, you gotta be you got to be in love with yourself more than the other person. Um, and you don't have, then you don't have love to share. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's that it'll be hashtag self-love. Um, and you got to have that, you got to be really motivated, really simply motivated to do so. Um, 
And uh, the motivation's got to be there. The motivation's definitely got to be there. Uh, to motivate someone is to really encourage them to do what they need to do to get them to the next uh, the next game, to the next the goalie, to the next goal. Um, what do they have to do in life? You know, the next uh, inner pass, uh, the next video they need to do. Um, yeah, we could do many videos out there, but we got to stick to one topic. And I, uh, when I began my YouTube channel, I always encouraged people to just stay on one topic, not just do several topics. And it's kind of like going off the cliff, you know, like the cliff of a vehicle, uh, and then not coming back, uh, you know. It's like going down the uh, rabbit hole. Sometimes I always tell people, go, you're just going down the rabbit hole of, uh, and not coming back up. <laughs> you know? It's like you're going down to the hell. You're going way down to hell and not coming back up. It's like that. Um, so my word of advice, if they want the word of advice to give to the viewers, the YouTubers out there, always have a plan. Have a plan of what you want to do on your YouTube channel. What topics you want to run by. Uh, what... Uh, it's a whole bunch of things, and uh, I'm not criticizing YouTubers out there. I, I definitely don't want to do that, uh, but there's few and far between. I get that snare when people say that. Uh, there are truly few and far between when it comes to YouTubers. Uh, they either miss the mark, they miss the topics. The topics I like to to see basically most most of the time are the paranormal and Portuguese and the, the cop watchers, First Amendment auditors. You probably know that one. Um, and basically, yeah, it's like a mixed match. And sometimes with electronic equipment, I want to hear the latest uh, speaker system to your uh, uh, mixing console, uh, to electronic-wise. Um, and there's a few people out there who do jobs like fixing, um, uh, uh, like fixing air conditions. These are people out there with warriors. They're out there warriors <laughs> fixing air conditions for people's places. And uh, that, that comes in handy. You get a lot of money for that. You get a truck that uh, has, uh, has logos on it, you know. So you should go out there and uh, pick a trade, as they say. Pick a trade you want to do. Uh, do you want to get into uh, fixing uh, air conditions? There's a lot of people out there on YouTube videos, a few of them, that do this, uh, you know, for volunteer, kind of volunteer kind of way. You can just do this for a couple hours and... Uh, and, uh, yeah, just do it for a few hours. You can do it voluntarily or you want to get paid. We can. There's options. I always tell people just give people options. They like that. Uh, what, what is your, uh, what, you know, what, uh, what, what, you know, the flexibility. The flexibility is there, right? You got to tell these people the flexibility is there. Uh, either through money or volunteering. So you're doing this volunteering. And, uh. And uh, that's good, that's good. You do it for love of your own, and uh, whatever you get back, you get back tenfold. Uh, they appreciate what you do on your YouTube channels, and people subscribe to your channels for many reasons. They like your videos, they want to see what kind of content you're going to have in the near future, and whatever it may be. And, um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk about a, a whole slew of topics out there that you can run by. Um, I, was, I was watching a video about women having cancer. Now, I'm not going to talk about their body parts. This is probably part and part. I'm not going to explain that to you people. Uh, this woman had cancer. Um, as I would say to people, it uh, doesn't matter what type of cancer you have. If it's a man or a woman, uh, cancer is worse. It's like, an, it's like a friend that you don't like. It's in your, it's in your skin. It's in your, it's in your body. It's kind of there. It's your, like your old friend you don't like. Uh, you don't like it. it's in there. It's uh, it's basically what it's doing. It's killing your cells in your body. Uh, cancer is like it's like killing your cells in your body that you go ill for. And um, cancer could be uh, cured, right? So cancer can be cured. I was watching these videos about this woman who had cancer, and uh, I'm not going to mention it here. Uh, <laughs> I just leave it at that. Um, and she had radiation. She apparently she had radiation. Um, I could tell you what body part that is. Uh, radiation, and uh, I guess I guess for some strange reason she had radiation. Uh, I was dumbfounded that she even said that in her subtitle. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you what body part from a woman's perspective. Uh, but yeah, she had radiation. I think it's from from the so-called uh, 
uh, uh, maybe it's from uh, from uh, allergic to her body. Maybe I don't know the uh, things that they use. I don't know uh, radiation or what, as they would say. Uh, it could be many things. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I don't work at a hospital. Uh, I don't know these things. Uh, they always say, uh, you know, <laughs> go to your uh, look, maybe your family doctor or or hospital that you know that takes good care of yourself and uh, yeah so I was stunning I'm not gonna mention the body part of the woman uh, it can be real graphic uh, so yeah any, anyway 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 back to what I was saying folks <laughs> anyway as what I'm saying folks you gotta do what you gotta do on YouTube and um, YouTube is not gonna be forever and ever uh, there's uh, Ian Musk. I was talking about Ian Musk. I know a lot of people don't like Ian Musk. I'm going to talk about him right now. Uh, Ian Musk with Twitter. Um, I myself not on Twitter at the moment. Um, I was banned on Twitter. I'm not going to give you excuses. Uh, I was banned off Twitter. That's okay, folks. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm on Twitter or not. Uh, yeah. Shut up, okay. <laughs> Ian Musk. I know people don't like Ian Musk. I know that he... He, um, he's essentially, he's essentially a creator. Yeah, listen to this person behind you here. Yeah. Yeah, Ian Musk is, uh, uh, whatever you want to call Ian Musk. I think he's, he's a guy who likes to do things. He's, he's go, he's a go-getter type of person. He's motivation. He's a motivation, um, uh, the way I would say the English way is a motivation. He's a motivation person. And uh, you get, you got to stick around with these people. Their motivation, their, uh, uh, if you could just be like Ian Musk, that would be appreciated. Yeah. And uh, he's trying to get uh, people to uh, ban him off Twitter. <laughs> I hate to say the word, ban off Twitter. Yeah. Nobody wants to ban anybody off any platform unless they're really, truly rude. Yeah. And uh, one other thing before I go, folks. Uh, just be kind-hearted to a lot of people out there. Uh, I was watching the, um, the paranormal about this uh, two sisters in the 1700s. Uh, the two sisters, you might have heard about them. Uh, I was, this is, it has to do with the paranormal realm. Uh, it was gruesome in the 1700s. This is not in the 1800s, 1700s. The young girls, the young girls of the 1700s, uh, were brutally murdered. Uh, forget the story about it. Yeah. Listen, 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 as my friend once said. Listen, listen, listen. You don't have to be nasty about it. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you're, I'm, uh, you're lucky I'm, I'm allowing you on this platform. Because <laughs> I'll boot you right off, as they say. <laughs> so anyway, as what I'm saying, as what I'm saying, folks, uh, the paranormal is what it is. Um, it has to do with things that are haunted, uh, uh, locations, it could be locations, it doesn't have to be the house, it could be maybe the ghosts want to haunt the place because they like it. Yeah, it's where they live, it's where they live. It's not the house that's haunted, it's the, uh, it's where the ghost side, you know, where they side. Kind of. And they're basically housebound. Ghosts are basically housebound. Spirits are housebound. Uh, they need to go into the white light. Uh, psychic mediums will tell you that. Uh, go into the white light. Like steer these spirits in the white light. Big white light where the heavens are. And it's it's tough for these spirits to do that. Uh, um, there's ways of, uh, of having spirits to move on from the white light in the atmosphere. And uh, there's many ways to do this. Uh, a psychic medium uh, knows how to deal, deal with these sort of uh, topics. And, uh, yeah, okay. But just remember, the psychic mediums, it, yeah, yeah, they need to be revolved. Evolved, sorry. Uh, I, I'm trying to use English words, do you mind? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what you hear in the background is just a YouTuber blabbing on. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm here on YouTube, and I'm going to stay on YouTube forever and ever. And uh, I was here on 2012, and I'm not going to leave anytime soon. Yeah. And that's a wow. That's a big, fat wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So anyway, anyway, I'll leave you with this party gifts uh, for everybody. And uh, I want to give a shout out to every good person out there. And um, and uh, I'm still going to be here. I was I've been on this uh, YouTube thing since 2012. Do you believe that? Yeah, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right on YouTube uh, unless there's other subscribers leaving. Uh, then I'll leave as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Uh, just like the lady says, I'm hurting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one other thing, one other thing. Just be nice to uh, all individuals out there. Just say uh, the words I would use some, uh, mostly is please and thank you and you're welcome. You're welcome. Try that. And it really works. Just say it in a good way. Just say it in a good way like that uh, in alphabetical order. Yeah, yeah. Please and thank you and you're welcome. Please and thank you and you're welcome. That, so these, sometimes the people don't get appreciated. Uh, so you got to understand that. They, don't, they might work a 9 to 5 job and it'll get appreciated. So just say please and thank you and you're welcome. You're welcome. And appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. They just, sometimes they don't get appreciated because they work a nine to five job, and uh, it's a it's a it's a permanent job. Just say hello, yeah, hi, and uh, hi, hello, <laughs> hello. Anyway, anyway, I gotta get off this platform. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, don't forget everybody. I think tomorrow on the History Channel is Oak Island, Oak Island uh, uh, tomorrow. Yes, on the History Channel. It's not, uh, it's not, I don't think it's locally. And uh, people will be watching it. Apparently it's a two-hour special. Tomorrow sometime in primetime hour. Yeah, obviously it's on the History Channel. It's called Oak Island Mystery or some uh, some of that <laughs> title like that. I have the book somewhere. I'll show it to you guys on the next episode. Um uh, just two brothers are determined, and I mean determined. This is this is not like one show, uh, one show at all. Uh, this is a segment, and I hope they'll update where they're at at the current day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At you are, and by the way, people take tours of this place. It's in Nova Scotia, Canada, and uh, they take tours. And uh, people have seen these people on TV, the history people. Yeah. It, so there you go, folks. Um, oh, before I go, before I get uh, going to you guys, don't forget, don't forget there's two box sets out in stores. There's Guns N' Roses and there's Metallica, Black Album from the Usual Illusion Albums box sets. These are with special edition box sets. And uh, I did mention them. Uh, if you're a Guns N' Roses fan or a Metallica fan, I'm going to try and get both. Yeah. Uh, the Black Album, uh, Metallica had their Black Album in, back in 90 to 91. That's when they were in the recording studio, a year in the recording studios. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, folks. I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, ciao for now. Like, uh